What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Bergen Motorsports Performance Intake and I'm also going to show you some sound clips of revving and driving with the stock intake and show you how it compares to the BMS intake. So the most basic car mods people usually do are a muffler delete and a cold air intake. So I've had three different intake setups actually. I had my stock one, I was also running the Dynan cold air intake and now I'm running the Bergen Motorsports Performance Intake. I like the Dynan one because it was carbon fiber. It looked cool in the engine bay, but it was closed box and it's really expensive. The replacement filters are really expensive. The BMS one, it's pretty cheap. Replacement filters, pretty cheap. And it gets you the most sound. So if you look at any of the websites selling intakes, they're gonna tell you that it, it adds power, sometimes uh, 10 to 15 extra horsepower. But then if you look at the forums or other places, uh, everyone says, oh no, intake doesn't add power, that's a lie. Well, today I'm going to show you guys my experience after running three different intakes. So I've noticed two things after upgrading my intake. The first is the sound. It really did improve the sound a lot, especially when you're flooring it. You can hear a lot more turbo noise. You hear it from the inside of the car, you hear it from the outside of the car. And the second thing I noticed is I feel like there's less airflow restrictions when you're running a, a cold air intake. So when I'm flooring it with the stock intake, it feels like something is holding it back. And when I put the aftermarket intake on, that restriction of airflow appears to be gone. Now, I don't know if this is actually adding more power or if it's making my car faster, but it feels a lot better to accelerate when you have the aftermarket intake installed. You're going to start by removing the MAF sensor and the vacuum line. Next, there's going to be four clips. I actually lost two of mine, but you just need to undo those clips. Then remove this clamp right here with a flathead screwdriver. Then remove the intake. After that, remove the filter. At this point, you might want to vacuum that box. It might be kind of dirty. Who knows what it'll have in it. Then you remove these two screws. Try to make sure you got that pushed in all the way. Next, you put the filter on. So you have this supporting clip and this is gonna go right into the filter box. And it's also gonna attach through a screw into the intake. Next, you put your intake back in. and screw this clamp back on. Reconnect the vacuum line and the MAF sensor. 